Hello everybody. Today we're going to uh, draw some caricatures, uh, almost like little thumbnail sketches, but um, the title of the video is going to be something about um, Tom Richmond's book here. I highly recommend you get Tom Richmond's book, The Mad Art of Caricature, and I want to talk about exaggerating um, the head shape imbalance, okay? I really want to push my head shapes, so go get Tom's book, Tom Richmond, The Mad Art of Caricature, and we want to simplify head shapes. So we're going to look for these shapes on some of our um, models today, okay? And I want you to do the same uh, whether you look at somebody online, in person, or you draw at, event, at an event, uh, which I do a lot of events. And um, so my thing is mainly geared towards quick event drawing, um, but, you know, it applies to all, all caricatures in general. So here we have our example of this young lady. So we're looking for head in balance, okay? So I would start with like, I wouldn't sketch like this um, live at a live setting. I would do all this in my head, okay? So like Tom Richmond says, head shape and T shape. I'm gonna bring the head down a, a little more. This will be the center line because she's at a three quarter view kind of. And I'm seeing the eyes tilting down. One eye is bigger than the other, is more open than the other is what I would say, okay? She does have a long nose, like a long T shape. So this forms the letter T, the eyes and the nose, okay? So that's kind of long, actually. Got a longer nose. And um, again, we're not going to be doing features today. We're focusing on the head shape and uh, imbalance of the head shape. Really want to exaggerate. And then the obvious uh, mouth there to scowl. Okay, so the head shape, what am I seeing? What Tom Richmond talks about, ask yourself a few things. Where is most of the mass of the head? Above the eye line or below the eye line? That's a trick you can do. And let's answer that question. I see most of the mass above the eye line. It's all in the hair, right? And the other thing he asks is ask yourself, where's the widest part of the face? And obviously up top, but she does have wide cheekbones. Be careful. See that angle? An point. He also talks of uh, anchor points. Here is an anchor point. Here is an anchor point in the jaw. Here is an anchor point in the uh, cheekbone. See that ang angle? Boom, and then boom, this way. So let's do that. So what shape are you seeing? Okay, when you look at her face, what are you seeing from Tom Richmond's book? I'm seeing this shape. Let's look, okay, see, yeah, that shape, that shape. So let's aim for something like that. And again, this is sketching, guys. Have fun with it. Nothing's set in stone, nothing's concrete. Just have fun, see what you can do. The more drawings you do, the better you're gonna be. So if you're doing bad drawings, that's a good sign. So I'm just going really loose with the pencil here and then I would tighten it up later with the marker. Um, again, you want to do all this in your head if you're doing live events, but if you're home sketching or doing illustration or online digital stuff, you can do all the sketching you want. Okay, <clears throat> pushing that head shape, all right? So now I, w I would block in the, the hairline. You don't want to, dr don't get crazy with hair. Um, Draw the shape of the hair. You don't have to draw every hair, you know? That's what Tom Richmond talks about as well. So uh, right now I'm just blocking in the head, the hair shape. And I would come back and, and then do my finished detail. But right now, we're, all this video is about is about thumbnail sketches and head shapes. Again, let's look at this anchor point here. Look at how wide this cheekbone. Again, this is caricature. We're going to exaggerate this. Come right in. Look how close the jawline comes to that mouth corner there. And she has very little chin and almost a straight chin right there. Now another anchor point at that jawline. She has a strong jawline, right? Again, keep in mind this is a three-quarter view. And I like the angle that this neck is doing and uh, these the shoulders. 
we're not going to get into clothing or people with hats uh, today. We will get into that at a later point. And then the clothing and stuff like that, like there. Just to give you a So now, I think that's a successful head shape. I think we pushed that pretty good. And if I just wanted to do quick little finishing details, um, I would... And notice how I'm holding my pencil. You, this is too tight. This is for your marker, okay? For your finishing details. This gives you more room to move and exaggerate and push. You're moving from your, your shoulder, your, the socket of your shoulder, okay? So again, quick little eyes. I would give her a smaller eye here. Look at it's almost like triangle shape, right? And they're angled down, okay? And this eye is more open and angled down. So you would keep that in mind as well. Nose is obviously what that's doing there. You know, you would come in and tighten up a little bit more. Okay, but this video is really just focusing on uh, head shapes and the imbalance. I really like this. What do you guys think? So then I would go and, and, and finish out the hair and then don't forget that ear is kind of partially visible there. <clears throat> All right. So I would bring the hair even over here a little more. Looks like a hot sweaty day at the fair or something. <laughs> this is a site I use called earthsworld.com. Okay, you want to go on to our next example? Here we go. Let's see what we can find next. So that, I think, is a very successful head shape. And that's what I want to uh, do today is head shapes. Um, again, this is earthsworld.com. We're going to do a tricky one. The, the ones that Len Redman talks about in his book, is called, he calls these people the in-betweeners. All right, I, I, I don't know what Tom calls them, but he talks about it. Like the regular faces are the, usually the tough ones to, to caricature. And I found that sometimes you got to do a little forced exaggeration. But I think I see what's going on with this gentleman's head shape here. And I'll see if you agree. I'd uh, love to hear your comments, guys. Like, comment, subscribe for more caricature videos. So let's look at his head head shape there and, and see you know what do you think fits there are obviously more shapes than just these but these are keeping it simple I'm seeing this but not as much in the top but I am seeing a jawline and I'll talk about that jawline uh, go get Tom Richmond's book the mad art of caricature okay the exaggerating imbalance okay so I'm gonna I, I see this one on, on this guy here the one-fifths four-fifths okay um, <clears throat> so simplifying shapes I just want to read a, a quick paragraph of this I think it's it's worth uh, reading the head shape really comprises many different features including cheekbones cheeks brow jawline chin forehead and hair while all these are important elements of the whole at the stage, we need to treat the head as a single shape and keep it as simple as possible. Simple shapes are easier to draw, control, and manipulate. So that's the quick um, lesson from Tom, which is great. Let's ask the, some questions that Tom Richmond would ask. He would say, uh, where is more mass, above or below the eye line? This is... When somebody sits down in front of me, this is immediately what I ask. Immediately off the rip, I'm seeing small squinty eyes and a, a big beard. But I, I, I'm struggling. If I was a beginner caricaturist, I would be struggling on how to exaggerate this. I kind of think I know what I want to do already. Uh, like Tom Richmond said, I see more mass below the eye line in this guy. And where's the widest part of the face? Kind of hard to tell, but if you were to hold like a straight edge and come down right at that jawline, right there, you know, right there is probably your widest part at his jaw. So in order to exaggerate that jawline, I'm going to shrink the top of the head. This is a, a trick Tom Richmond teaches. Okay. So in order to make something else look bigger, 
shrink something else opposite. It's like the water balloon effect. Okay, let's try this one. This one is a little tough, but uh, head shaped. Here we go. Let me just make sure I'm not going off camera here. Uh, I'm going to keep this top of the head smaller and tighter, and I'm going to really exaggerate uh, the jawline. And uh, I think we're coming down like that. See, his head almost comes to a point. Let's do that. Okay, see, that, that works better. So you try things, all right? You, like Bob Ross says, think like a tree. <laughs> well, you want to think like a head or think like a beard or think like a nose or an eye. You know, Bob Ross was right with everything he taught in his paintings, and it does apply to caricature. All right. Well, widest part of the face, this is what I'm thinking. Jawline, right here. The widest part, I, I would see that right there. Now I would come in and even exaggerate that beard jawline even more. And uh, I here's another thing. Don't give him a skinny lollipop neck. Look at where the shoulders are. They come right out, middle of the face. But I would push these up even more to exaggerate. See, like this. See, see that? That's kind of magical right there. Okay. Now your T-shape. Eyes are... Uh, I'm going to push the eyes up a little more. They're very small, squinty, because he's in the sun, you know. Oh, I, I would say a very wide nose. Not, it's kind of long also, but we're not... Here we got to do some forced uh, things. Exaggeration. Again, we're not focusing on features today, but we'll do it really quick here for you. And his mouth, uh, the beard, mustache. Let's just block it in, okay? Here's a quick way just to block in shapes. He does have a bigger upper lip. It's hidden by all the facial hair, so I want to get that and it's very pointy on his lips. We're not gonna worry too much about those lips. I don't wanna distract from the title of the video, you know? Um, and just a quick little lower lip there. I wouldn't even do it this much. I'm just blocking in right now. See, it's easy to get muddled up with the details. I'm gonna shrink this head even more to really push the exaggeration. Look at that, huh? I think that just worked. Let's see. Let's erase that old head shape. Yeah, that works even more. And then I would do the little hairs up here. Eyebrows. This eyebrow you could exaggerate a little more. Okay, um, and the ears. See, this, this is a tough guy to exaggerate. Um, this one can throw you off, and I'm glad I could show this to you. I'm just blocking this in just so I can see what's going on here and if it's working, okay? This isn't how I would draw with the marker, but I would do all this kind of in my head live. You have to do that live. I think it's decent, and... Uh, I just want to tighten this up just to see where we're going for <laughs> artistic uh, satisfaction sake. Yeah, I, I could I could see this one working out okay. A little tough to uh, exaggerate, but you see what I'm saying? I'm going to give some shadow there. Yeah, and then the hairs. I like it. Is it an A plus? No, solid B. Solid B. Again, we're not finishing the drawing. I just want to try head shapes. Again, with thumbnail sketches, what else would you see? You could go along with his face. You could do like a long sketch, all right? Almost like, let's try it, like a longer type head. Oh, let's see what that looks like very quickly. See, I was getting a little tight on there, and I didn't like that. Again. I'm seeing the wider jaw. This could work too. 
but I don't want to be have him too skinny because he's a, a hefty guy so I would give him something like that so this is good to exaggerate and see what you could do black and quick this is how I would work really quick and I don't think this one worked as good as a likeness as the other one but I just wanted to see no that's the one to go with okay let's try one more quick example my video is going over a little longer than I wanted to, but what the hey? We're having fun. Um, again, earthsworld.com. Um, I had a, another example down here. Wow, there are some, some great faces here, guys. And uh, here's one for us. Looks like he, he knows his picture's being taken. And uh, so what are you seeing here? for a head shape. I am seeing a, a very large forehead. And I almost see, I'm going to show you what I see from Tom Richmond's book. This is what I would see uh, right here. Th this, this shape. It could be anyone. It could be this one. But I'm seeing this one. Let's just do a quick thumbnail sketch of that head shape. And then we'll wrap it up. Yeah, I'm going off the camera. Hang on, be right back. There we go. Sorry. All right. If you can hear the trumpets playing, it's uh, ten o'clock at night. We live next to a military installation here. All right, and then he's got the widest part is is here. So I'm going to shrink the temple. This would be at the temple. And then I would widen out here, and he's got a thicker neck. So this one is tricky too, but you could do it. I know you can. And then the chin line, and a th again, a thicker neck. The hair. Don't even worry about these strands of the hair just yet, okay? We're just doing head shape. So look at this. That's what I want to exaggerate. That's what I want to get through to you. That that top and squeezing it in at the temple. I'm going to squeeze it in even more and then push it out even more. Right there, okay? Sorry, I'm a little off camera. Okay, and I do the, the glasses, the eye line right about in here. I hope you're learning something from these. I hope you buy Tom Richmond's book. We'll get into hats, glasses, and accessories at another time. They're, they're tough. Hats can be tough, but uh, you can make them easier. I'm going to shrink this nose. This nose is small, actually. It's a very pointy and angular nose, okay? So I would go something like that. And you got a great smile. And I would exaggerate the space between the nose and the top lip a lot like by going like that. This is just for illustration purposes, quick thumbnail sketches. You're seeing a little bit of teeth in that mouth, not much, and a cigarette, you know. Got some cheeks on them there. And definite lines in the face and in the forehead. All right, uh, that's a quick head shape for you. Not the greatest. Um, overall but then you would ink it okay then you would do your fine finishing details you know um, I just want to I like this nose how this nose came out there you go and you see now is when you would hold the marker or the pen like this you know and uh, for blonde hair, mustaches, I just do the outline of it. I don't darken the whole thing in just because I do a lot of black and white sketches for parties. And the teeth, like that. 
showing a little bit of his teeth and then there is some dark space in that mouth cigarette you get the idea and I love lines in the face I love when people have a lot of lines in their face but you don't want to offend anybody either but it is caricature so you want it to look like the person so this guy's got some cheeks on him so see where I'm heading now and see this line over here it's important do it very lightly he's got a thicker neck I'm not going to finish this drawing just because I don't want to get bogged down with details. I just wanted to show you where I would go with it after I did the thumbnail sketch. And with hair, you want a lot of overlapping lines like that. Draw the shape of the hair. You don't have to draw every uh, piece of the hair. Okay, I hope you learned something. You can finish this up yourself. Drop a comment, drop a like, uh, share the video if you think somebody, one of your friends could use it. Caricature sometimes looks easy to do, but it was hard when I first tried it. And then when I had the right tools like Tom Richmond's book, Len Redman's book, Keelan Parham's book, um, they really helped me. Tom's book has a lot of information. It is a bit overwhelming. He's very uh, extreme and intense. With oh, It's the nature of Mad Magazine, being a Mad Magazine artist and a big illustrator, you know. He's got a ton of information, but I need things kind of simplified for me. And Keelan Parham's book speaks to me also, so I recommend his book as well. But Tom Richmond's is your Bible. All right, guys, that's the caricature head shapes from Tom Richmond's book. I hope you go buy it. I hope you learn something um, from me and Tom's book as well. Thanks so much. See you next time.